Did you know that a startling 75% of productivity loss isn't due to laziness? It's actually due to your brain on stress overload. In a world where the hustle never stops, it's easy to blame our endless to-do lists for our productivity woes. But what if I told you the real battle is happening inside your brain? In this video, we're exploring the neuroscience behind allostatic load and its surprising impact on productivity. And stick around because by the end, I'll share practical techniques to reset your brain's stress response, offering you a blueprint to reclaim your focus and efficiency. Picture yourself as a juggler, but instead of colorful balls, you're trying to keep an array of tasks, responsibilities, and worries airborne. It's a delicate balancing act where dropping any one of them feels like it could lead to disaster. Now, imagine that this juggling act isn't happening on a stable ground, but on a treadmill that's constantly accelerating. At first, you manage to keep pace, your concentration laser-focused on the items in the air. But as the treadmill speeds up, your breath quickens, your palms sweat, and the fear of dropping everything becomes ever more real. This isn't just a physical challenge, it's a mental one. Your brain, like the treadmill, is operating under increasing pressure. This is allostatic load in action. Allostatic load refers to the cumulative burden of chronic stress and life's demands on your body, particularly on your brain's ability to manage stress. It's like your mental resources are being stretched thin, trying to keep up with the demands of a fast-paced, ever-changing environment. Every new task or worry adds weight, making it harder to maintain your juggling act. This continuous pressure can lead to burnout, decreased productivity, and even health issues if not managed properly. It's a vivid illustration of how allostatic load can overwhelm your brain circuits, making it difficult to focus, make decisions, and stay productive. Recognizing this scenario is crucial to transforming your approach to work and productivity. It's not about pushing yourself harder, which can exacerbate the problem, leading to more stress and less efficiency. Instead, it's about understanding the capacity and limits of your brain's resources. Managing allostatic load effectively means identifying stressors and addressing them proactively. It involves prioritizing tasks, setting realistic goals, and incorporating breaks to allow your brain to recharge. By doing so, you create a more sustainable work rhythm that enhances your productivity without pushing your brain into overload. Think of it as adjusting the speed of the treadmill to a pace where you can jog comfortably without risking a fall. It's about finding balance and harmony within the chaos, ensuring that your tasks, responsibilities, and worries are juggled with skill and care, not frantic desperation. This strategic approach to managing your mental workload is the first step toward unlocking a more productive, less overwhelmed version of yourself. Now, imagine you're a smartphone, sleek and efficient, designed for speed and multitasking. Now think of each app on your phone as a task or a stressor in your life. Some are essential, like your calendar or email, while others, like social media or news apps, constantly update and demand your attention. This smartphone, your brain, is running dozens of apps simultaneously. Just like a phone's battery drains faster with every additional app left open in the background, your mental energy depletes with every task you juggle. The more apps you have running, the slower your phone operates, struggling to switch smoothly between tasks. This slowdown isn't just frustrating, it's counterproductive. Each stressor or app running in the background of your mind consumes valuable cognitive resources, reducing your ability to focus and process information efficiently. This is allostatic load at work, where the cumulative stress of these open apps impairs your brain's performance. When your brain is overwhelmed with managing these background stressors, it's similar to a smartphone lagging under the weight of too many open applications. The constant notifications from these apps distract you, pulling your attention away from tasks that require deep focus. You might find yourself forgetting details, making more mistakes, or taking longer to complete tasks, not because you're incapable, but because your mental resources are spread too thin. The key to enhancing your productivity lies in consciously managing these mental apps. 
Just as closing unnecessary apps on your smartphone can conserve battery life and improve performance, identifying and mitigating unnecessary stressors can significantly enhance your cognitive functions. Start by evaluating which tasks and worries are essential and which can be paused or eliminated. This might mean setting specific times to check emails, delegating tasks, or setting boundaries around work hours to prevent work-related apps from running into your personal time. Implementing strategies to manage your mental workload effectively can lead to a noticeable boost in productivity and well-being. It's about creating a mental environment where your cognitive resources are optimized, not overwhelmed. By minimizing the number of apps fighting for your attention, you allow your brain to operate more efficiently, improving your ability to focus, make decisions, and ultimately, be more productive. As mentioned in the beginning of the video, the strategies to reclaim your focus and efficiency revolve around something I like to call the brain reset techniques. These aren't just throwaway strategies. They are foundational practices that can transform your approach to stress and productivity. Let's break down what these three techniques entail and why they are so crucial for managing allostatic load effectively. 1. Sensory Deprivation Experience A unique method to reset your brain by temporarily eliminating distractions from your external environment. Sensory deprivation tanks, or float tanks, filled with salt water create a buoyant environment where you can float effortlessly. This experience minimizes sensory input, no light, no sound, and a feeling of weightlessness. This profound level of physical and mental relaxation can significantly lower stress levels, allowing your brain to pause, reset, and emerge more focused and creatively refreshed. It's like hitting the reset button, giving your brain a chance to reboot away from the constant barrage of sensory information, leading to a decrease in allostatic load and an enhancement in mental clarity and innovation. For those who don't have access to a sensory deprivation tank but are intrigued by the concept, you can create a similar sensory reduction experience right at home. This technique aims to mimic the sensory deprivation environment by minimizing sensory input to allow your brain to reset and recharge. Here's how you can set up your own sensory reduction sanctuary. Prepare your space. Choose a quiet, comfortable room where you're unlikely to be disturbed. Use blackout curtains to eliminate light or wear a comfortable light-blocking eye mask. Ensure the room is at a comfortable temperature. Minimize sound. Use noise-canceling headphones or earplugs to reduce auditory input. If complete silence feels too intense, consider plain white noise or soft, ambient sounds that don't demand cognitive attention. Limit physical distractions. Lie on a comfortable surface, such as a bed or a padded mat on the floor. Use pillows and blankets to ensure you're as comfortable as possible. The goal is to minimize awareness of your physical body, so adjusting your environment to reduce physical discomfort is key. Focus on your breath. With external stimuli minimized, turn your attention inward. Practice deep breathing exercises, slowly inhaling through your nose and exhaling through your mouth. This not only helps in reducing mental chatter, but also facilitates a deeper state of relaxation. The aim is to anchor your attention in the present moment, gently guiding it back whenever your mind starts to wander. Duration Start with short durations, such as 10 to 15 minutes, and gradually increase the time as you become more comfortable with the experience. Even a brief period of sensory reduction can significantly impact your mental clarity and stress levels. This home-based sensory reduction technique offers a practical and accessible way to enjoy some of the benefits of sensory deprivation tanks without needing special equipment. By regularly practicing this form of sensory reduction, you can help manage allostatic load, reduce stress, and enhance your overall sense of well-being, all from the comfort of your home. Two. Personal Digital Detox Challenge Embark on a personal digital detox challenge, a deliberate decision to step away from digital devices and reduce your digital footprint for a set period. This self-imposed challenge doesn't require you to attend a retreat or cost you anything. Instead, it's about creating your own sanctuary wherever you are. 
Designate times during your day or specific days of the week where you consciously disconnect from all digital devices, smartphones, computers, tablets, and even television. Fill this time with activities that reconnect you with the offline world. Reading a book, practicing yoga, cooking a new recipe, or simply engaging in face-to-face -face conversations with friends and family. This challenge aims to break the cycle of constant connectivity, allowing your brain to rest from the relentless influx of notifications, emails, and social media updates. By setting boundaries around your digital device usage, you give yourself the opportunity to experience life more fully, engage more deeply with your surroundings, and allow your mind to wander and rest. The personal digital detox challenge can significantly reduce your allostatic load, leading to enhanced mental clarity, improved sleep patterns, and a renewed appreciation for the simple joys of life. It's a powerful tool for anyone looking to reclaim their focus, boost their productivity, and foster a healthier relationship with technology. 3. Creative Art Therapy Engaging in creative art therapy is another innovative technique to rest and reset your brain. This approach doesn't require any artistic skill. Rather, it's about expressing yourself through creative mediums like painting, sculpting, or drawing as a form of stress relief and emotional release. The act of creating art can serve as a meditative practice, focusing your mind on the present task and allowing stressors to fade into the background. This process facilitates a mental escape, providing a therapeutic outlet for emotions and thoughts contributing to allostatic load. By channeling stress into artistic expression, you can unlock a new level of self-awareness and emotional resilience, leading to a reduction in stress and an improvement in cognitive function and productivity. Creative art therapy stands out as a deeply personal and fulfilling way to recalibrate your mental state, offering a unique pathway to tranquility and mental clarity. These simple practices can significantly lower your allostatic load, sharpening your focus and boosting productivity. And if you found today's insights helpful, you won't want to miss our next video.